Hey everyone. So college students kind of got a rough deal when it comes to the stimulus payments that Congress approved last month when they decided to send everybody $1,200 to help them out during this coronavirus isolation quarantine time. And they wanted to add an extra $500 for every child. And they only allowed the children to receive or the parents to receive payments for their children as long as their children were under 17 years old. So if you had a child who was going to graduate high school soon or just recently graduated high school or in college and you were still claiming them as your dependent on your tax return, you didn't get any stimulus money for that child, even though, of course, it still costs money to support that child and college students pay their own rent. In fact, it's more expensive to have a child off at college because now you got to pay for their rent and their utilities and their entertainment and their travel and their education and yada yada. And so if you had a child who was in college, you didn't get any stimulus money for them. And if that college student didn't file their own tax return, they didn't get any stimulus money or if they didn't claim themselves. So again, college students kind of got a rough deal. And I want to simply remind college students and parents who have children in college that there is a benefit out there for you, a financial benefit from the government, money that the government wants to give you and has already authorized to pay you every single year for your college student for up to four years that the IRS says nine million Americans are not claiming every single year. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot when you consider how many Americans there are, but when you consider that there are, that many fewer Americans are actually in college, it's a good chunk of Americans. It's anybody who is receiving Pell Grants or scholarships to help them pay for their education. If your child or you get scholarships or Pell Grants to pay for your education, there's a very good chance you're in one the 9 million not claiming this money. I'm just going to explain very quickly what it is you're missing. It's called the American Opportunity Credit. You may have heard of it and you may think that you're claiming it and you may think you're claiming the full amount. The truth is, again, 9 million Americans miss this every single year, which means there are at least 20 some million Americans right now who have missed it over the last three years and they could go back and amend their old taxes and claim that money. I've found from helping students and parents amend old taxes that the average amount of money missed is $1,300 every single year. So that's more than the stimulus payment, which is $1,200 and more than the $500 that you would get for your child if they're seven, under 17. So how do you do this? How do you get this? And why are people missing it? If you sit down to do your taxes with TurboTax or any other tax software, or if you go in and talk to your best friend who's an accountant or your uncle who's an accountant or your, uh, your favorite accountant who's very knowledgeable and very talented at doing accounting, and they sit down to do your taxes and they use Lacert or they use Intuit Tax Online or they use um, Drake Software or they use whatever they use, Pro Series, whatever software your accountant is using, it's going to do this wrong. And that's why it's missed. The American Opportunity Credit is not claimed in full by 9 million Americans every year because the software does this wrong. What it does is when you punch in that you have a college student in your family, whether that's you or your child, and you say, my tuition for that college student was $5,000, $5,000 in tuition but my college student got $6,000 in scholarships or Pell Grants. Then the software says, oh, $6,000 in free money, tax-free money, minus $5,000 in tuition. That means your child or you as a college student got paid $1,000 to go to college. So you don't qualify for the American Opportunity Credit, says the software. It says you don't get to claim this free money from the government because you already got free money in the form of scholarships and Pell Grants. And that seems reasonable. And most CPAs and accountants who do your taxes will probably just shrug it off and say, that's, that seems reasonable and that's what the law says. But it's not what the law says. And your accountant, as good as they are, may not know that because they don't focus on college students. They don't regularly do work for college students because college students don't regularly hire CPAs. And they don't know this area of the tax code. There are 
over 75,000 pages of tax laws and regulations and publications. I mean, it's more than that. It was 75,000 pages years ago. And CPAs and accountants don't know all of the tax code and they don't tend to focus on areas that they don't deal with regularly and since most CPAs and accountants don't regularly do college tax returns, they don't realize that their software is doing this wrong. So what can you do? The law simply says that if you have tax-free scholarships and Pell Grants, that's the $6,000 number, you have to reduce your tuition amount, that's the $5,000 number, by as much as your tax-free scholarships and you cannot claim your tuition and claim the American Opportunity Credit using tuition that was paid for by tax-free scholarships and Pell Grants. But what the IRS pointed out six years ago now, in 2014, in an IRS fact sheet, which you can find linked on my collegetaxrefunds.com front page, there's an irs.gov fact sheet that explains that you only have to reduce your tuition by your tax-free scholarships and Pell Grants. And if you decide to pay taxes, you can simply decide, you can elect to pay taxes on some or all of your Pell Grants and scholarships, then those Pell Grants and scholarships are no longer tax-free. You paid tax on them. And because you paid tax on them, and that tax might be, especially if you're a college student, well, it, let me make this clear. It's the college student who has to pay tax on their scholarships and grants. The scholarships and grants went to the college student. So it doesn't matter if you're the parent and, you're, and your child is in college or if you're the college student, you, you put that money on the college student's tax return. And usually, college students aren't making a lot of money. And so they're in a tax bracket that's maybe it's 0%. Maybe they're, they're making less than the standard deduction, which means that any money they make is tax-free. Uh, even if they report it as taxable. Or maybe they're only making enough money to be paying 10% tax. So let's say they're making 10% tax. They're making enough money to pay 10% tax and they've got $6,000 of scholarships and grants. That means they're going to have to pay $600 of tax. Okay? $600 of tax and now they can claim the American Opportunity Credit because their tuition was no longer paid for by tax-free scholarships and grants. Instead, they taxed their scholarships and grants, paid 600 bucks, and their tuition, here's the trick, their tuition is paid for now by their earned income. If you're a college student and you're claiming yourself, you do have to have earned income. You have to have a job to make this work. Some kind of money coming in that you're reporting on your taxes that you earned. If you're a parent, of course you've got earned income, I hope, uh, and I know that some people are without jobs right now, so I don't want to be insensitive to that, but hopefully you've got some earned income and you've been helping your child pay for college with that earned income or to pay for their living. So the point is that since you've been claiming your child on your taxes, you get to say on your taxes that the scholarship and grants were taxed and that the tuition was paid for by your earned income. It doesn't matter if that's actually true or not. It doesn't matter if the scholarships or Pell Grants actually went directly to the college and they actually paid for the tuition. The IRS doesn't care. There's a word that we use in the accounting world called fungible. Money is fungible. It means that a dollar is a dollar is a dollar is a dollar and you don't know where this dollar came from and where it went. Dollars that came from your work might have gone to pay for tuition or they might have gone to pay for educate or for entertainment or for travel. Dollars that came from scholarships might have gone to pay for tuition or they might have gone to pay for movies and they might have gone to pay for your rent or mortgage. It doesn't matter. Dollars just go everywhere. They're fungible. Okay, And the point is that for your taxes, you simply need to claim the scholarships and grants as taxable on the, the college student's tax return and pay tax on it. Then you can claim the tuition was paid by your earned income and now you can qualify for the American Opportunity Credit, which is an incredibly valuable credit. It's worth up to $2,500 cash back from your taxes. And I've, uh, as I've already said, the average student or college family misses $1,300 every single year because of this, because they don't do it right, because the software doesn't do it right. Okay, so um, I've already explained to you the general steps for doing it, reporting your scholarship and grant as taxable, paying the tax on it on the college, at the college level, and then whoever claims the student claims the, the American Opportunity Credit. That's the basic, that's, that's it. That's, that's the basic um, rule. I do want to point out that this is more challenging though than it sounds because you don't want to include too much 
and, and, and let, let me back up really quickly. The, the amount of the American Opportunity Credit could be up to $2,500, and it's almost always, almost always, more than the $600 that you had to pay in tax to report that scholarship and grant. And in fact, it's almost always way more than than the amount that you had to pay in tax. That's why the average person misses about $1,300. So for in this example, it's likely that um, the person who's paying the tax might have to pay $600 in tax, but the person who gets the credit, whether that's the parent or the child, gets like $1,900 in American Opportunity Credit. That pays the $600 tax and leaves you with $1,300. So what are the tricks to this? There are several tricks, okay? One trick is that you don't want to include too much of your scholarship and grant in income. Because when you do, your tax goes up, of course. You only want to include the amount you need to include in income so that you get the full American Opportunity Credit. See, the trick is that you don't have to claim or to get the full American Opportunity Credit, you don't have to report all of your tuition, not all 5,000 of your tuition to claim that American Opportunity Credit. You only need to report 4,000 of your tuition to get the full American Opportunity Credit benefit. So you want to go ahead and compute the number so that some of your scholarships and grants are still tax-free. $1,000 of it. If you if you leave $1,000 of tax-free scholarships and grants and you say that that tax-free scholarships and grants paid off $1,000 of your tuition, now you only have $4,000 left of tuition to pay for with your earned income. Meanwhile, because you had $6,000 of Pell Grants and scholarships and 1000 of it you're leaving tax-free, that means you only have to report 5000 as taxable and now your tax is only $500. You've just earned another 100 bucks. That's one of the tricks, is that you don't have to report your full Pell Grant and scholarship as taxable. You report just enough. In this case, $5,000 as taxable. Your tax is only $500 at the most if you've got a 10% tax bracket for the college student. And meanwhile, they get the full benefit of the American Opportunity Credit, and now you get even more money back. Okay. Uh, another trick, again, is that if you increase your the, the, the student's scholarships and income, excuse me, scholarships and Pell Grants and put that in income and you increase their income too much, you might accidentally or unintentionally be reducing their very valuable earned income credit. So if you're a college student and you have children and you're getting the earned income credit, which is an incredibly valuable payment from the government, if you push up your income too much, that earned income credit will go down even faster and you don't want that to happen. So there's a trick here where you don't want to include too much in your income so that you don't reduce your earned income credit. And in fact, now it's very likely because the earned income credit is more valuable than the American Opportunity Credit. It's very likely that you want to only try to claim, instead of the, the full American Opportunity Credit, you only want to claim what works out to be about 80% of the American Opportunity Credit. So you include in your income just enough scholarships and Pell Grant so that you can now claim tuition paid for by your earned income, not by tax-free scholarship, tuition to earn about 80%. That's about $2,000 of tuition. Okay, it's because the, the rules in the American Opportunity Credit are really weird. You get a lot of credit for the first $2,000 of tuition and you get only a little bit of credit for the next $2,000 of tuition. And so you're going to want to, so in this case, let's go back to our example of $5,000 of um, uh, tuition and $6,000 of uh, scholarships and Pell Grants. In this case, to get the best benefit, if it's impacting your earned income credit, you only want to include enough so that you can claim $2,000 of tuition in your income. And so let's see, I had $5,000 of tuition. I want $3,000 of my tuition to be paid for with tax-free scholarships and grants. So that's $3,000 of my $6,000 $3,000 of my $6,000 pays for my tuition, but then I have another $3,000 of scholarships and grants I'm going to report in my income. So now I'm only reporting $3,000 of scholarships and grants in my income. And the benefit of this is my taxes will only be $300 now, 10%. Okay. And because I'm only including $3,000 in my income, I'm only very, very slightly reducing my earned income credit. Meanwhile, I'm able to claim $2,000 of tuition on my American Opportunity Credit paid for by my, my wages, my earned income. And now I'm going to get 80% of the benefit of the American Opportunity Credit. There are other problems. When you put, when you include your scholarship and grant in your income, you might affect your child tax credit if you're a parent. You might affect your um, 
your Obamacare, the health care credits, uh, I'm, I'm forgetting the words, the, the, the names of them right now, the PTC, the net PTC credit, what does that stand for? And the premium tax credit and the advanced premium tax credit, and so you might impact your taxes that way. So it's very tricky, actually, to figure out the exact amount of scholarships and grants to include in your income to maximize your refund. But software doesn't do it correctly, and on average, it misses $1,300 per year per student who's in college. So even if you didn't get a stimulus payment for your college student this year, you can still amend your taxes for the last three years. That's 2016. You have until only July 15th of this year to amend your 2016 taxes. You can amend your 2017, 18, and 19 taxes. The last three years, okay, plus right now you get a little bonus. We have a little more time to do 2016, just until July 15th. And you can amend those last four years and get up to $1,300 every single year for your college student. That's over $5,000 that you may have missed. And the way you would do it is just as I've explained in this video, include that tax-free scholarship and Pell Grant in your income, but only just enough to maximize your refund and claim that American Opportunity Credit. It's challenging to get the right number. I can help you get the right number at collegetaxrefunds.com. If you enter just a few anonymous numbers in the calculator right there, it will tell you exactly within just three minutes of just, it's going to take you about three minutes to enter those anonymous numbers from your tax return, from your old tax return, and then the calculator will immediately tell you how much money you missed. You don't have to, put, to provide any personal identifying information. It will tell you how much money you missed on your old taxes, and then you can decide whether you want to just amend it yourself or whether you want my help to uh, claim the full amount that you missed. And if you do want my help, you don't have to pay me anything until you get your money back, until you get your extra money from the IRS in the form of a check, and then you can pay me. Um, and uh, so we're just putting money in your pocket, and we're helping you get that money that you missed on your old taxes. I want to point out there's one more challenge, and that is that in about 20 to 25% of cases, the IRS agents who receive amended tax returns, they don't even know that this is possible. They don't understand what it is we're doing, and they don't think that you're allowed to claim the American Opportunity Credit if you have scholarships and grants more than your tuition. They're wrong. They don't understand how it works either, just like most CPAs don't know. And so you might actually get a letter from the IRS if you try this uh, in about 25% of cases, and the IRS will say, you can't do this. They'll just flat out say, you're not allowed to do it. And they're wrong. And we fight that as part of our fees and our guarantees. We make sure that we protect you from any and all audits and questions from the IRS, and we make sure that you get the money that we promise you. And uh, so, because they're wrong. <laughs> the college students do deserve this money. All right, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you would like uh, me to cover a topic for you in one of my videos, please let me know what that topic is. Reach out to me on my website at collegetaxrefunds.com if you have any other additional questions. Uh, I appreciate you listening. Uh, this, I'm, I'm Steve Hunt. I'm a CPA, and I'm the owner of College Tax Refunds. Thanks so much.